Roman Reigns is in the hospital after being attacked by Solo's bloodline on SmackDown as Roman's friend Paul Heyman reacts to this tragic news. And we will have the latest update on Roman's current medical condition and his WWE status. Prior to the attack on Roman, Solo Sokoa broke major news. He admitted that whoever wears the tribal necklace is the official tribal chief, meaning that if Roman is able to gain possession of that tribal necklace, then Roman will once again become the tribal chief. And Solo himself said, I will acknowledge Roman as a tribal chief if he wears that tribal necklace. In fact, look what Paul Heyman posted after SmackDown went off the air. Who do you acknowledge as your tribal chief, Solo or Roman? But WWE won't be happy about this just before SmackDown went on the air. As Solo walks into the arena, security lets him through. Fans are out there waiting to greet wrestlers. Solo begins being booed, and Solo gives a very interesting reaction. Solo looks at the fans booing him and gives this reaction. Look at his face. Sticks out his tongue and just gives an overall weird look. Some say this was Solo breaking character, but some fans who notice this possible breaking character say that Solo should have ignored them and just walked into the building or flipped them off. Giving a funny face reaction just didn't match the character he portrays on TV. But it's what happened once Solo got inside the arena that has fans devastated. Roman once again decided to confront Solo and his bloodline, and he was able to take out Solo, take out Tamatanga, but then Jacob Fatu showed up, and it was just too much for Roman to handle alone. It was Roman who cleared off the announcer's desk because he was going to powerbomb Tamatanga through the desk. Well, that was stopped. Instead, Roman ended up being the one who was powerbombed through the desk. They then threw Roman's lifeless body into the ring and raised ones to the air. But then, things got even worse for Roman Reigns. During the attack on Roman, Jacob Fatu made his return wearing that protective boot on his bad foot. Of course, Jacob Fatu was injured at SummerSlam, but he is now returned. And that is one of the reasons why Roman was outnumbered. And look at this reaction by Roman Reigns when Jacob Fatu returned. Roman has a look of shock, knowing that he's outnumbered and that he needs backup. He can no longer fight this fight alone, but nobody showed up to help him. Where was that backup? Where was Jimmy Uso, who we know is cleared? Where was Jay Uso? Where was Sami Zayn? Where was even Cody Rhodes? Where was anyone to help Roman? The Rock, where was he? They all left him to be destroyed by the bloodline. They just stood in the back and watched. Now, we don't really know who was in the back, but there had to be someone back there who could have saved Roman, but they didn't. Why? And when SmackDown went off the air, many fans were left a bit confused. Not because of the attack, but because of something that happened before that involving Roman. Here, Roman finds the tribal necklace, holds it in his hands, and we have to remember, earlier in the show, Solo said, whoever wears this tribal necklace is the tribal chief. And Solo said, if Roman wears this necklace, then I will acknowledge him. And guess what? Roman put on the tribal necklace. And we all thought, okay, Roman is once again the official tribal chief. 
But then Roman was attacked and he lost possession of that tribal necklace and Solo got it back. And for fans wondering, well, who's the tribal chief? Roman had it, but then he lost it. Solo got it back. Who's the tribal chief? Well, if we are to believe Solo, the tribal chief is Solo because he's the one who ended up with the tribal necklace after the attack on Roman. If Roman was able to hold on to it and not lose it back to Solo, then Roman would have been the official tribal chief. But that is not the case. Right now, Solo is still the official tribal chief, not Roman. But being the tribal chief is the last thing on Roman's mind. This is because right now Roman is fighting for his life as he was taken to the hospital after the brutal attack by the bloodline on SmackDown. So here is the current medical condition of Roman Reigns. When SmackDown went off the air, fans thought, oh, this is horrible. This could be the end of Roman in WWE. Fans just weren't sure. But then their worst fears were realized. WWE posted this sad exclusive video of Roman after SmackDown went off the air. As you can see here, Roman can barely walk, bruised and battered, limping, holding his arm, possibly a broken arm, a broken wrist. He's in bad shape. Many wondered, where are WWE doctors? Roman had to limp to the back? This is ridiculous. We don't know why WWE doctors didn't immediately go out there and attend to him, but according to sources, once Roman got to the backstage area, he collapsed, and that's when WWE doctors finally did attend to him, and paramedics were called. Roman was then in such bad shape, he was placed onto a stretcher, put into an ambulance, and rushed to the hospital. And by all accounts, that is where Roman currently is, laying in a hospital bed, and we can only assume that Roman's friend, Paul Heyman, who could have been backstage waiting for him, and he was probably horrified by what he saw. And Paul Heyman has not yet been able to officially return to WWE TV. He has to stay in the back because of how bad he was injured by the bloodline. So Paul Heyman is probably by Roman's side in that hospital room trying to help his friend Roman through this horrible situation. What are your thoughts about Roman Reigns being attacked by Solo's bloodline? Leave a comment and give me your opinion.